Hmm. Man, this takes me back. Yeah. To like a month ago. <laughs> In a little while. Yeah, not. Uh, I was. We weren't plan. I wasn't planning on like forcing you to do this again anytime soon. But I realized that I found out that the creators of AI Dungeon released what they called a newer, more powerful AI model known as Dragon, because the previous the previous version was known as uh, Griffin. And they've been working on it pretty regularly. I think an update had just come out when we last streamed it, and then oh, bunch of after updates. we streamed it, another update came out. They're, but they're this is the big one. Yeah, this is the one. Apparently, this this is so powerful that they're having to uh, raise their subscription costs in order to like to pay for power or something, oh, or something like that. But I, no. I guess they must be doing well enough to do that. Yeah, you see it? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So oh. this is on Jack's end. Yeah, this is on this my is end this time. Premium feature, and Jack is a premium member. So. I am a premium member because this this uh, AI dungeon is fucking awesome. Like like all the like all the features and stuff. The, you can only get the new uh, the new model on premium, and uh, I don't know why that is. There's not going to be any music, unfortunately, because uh, I think we'll add it in post or something. Yeah, if we Maybe. decide we want to do we like decide. highlights or something. Yeah. So uh, so let's uh, start a new single player game. Oh, oh, I almost. That's you. Is it? That's the stream. I can hear. I can hear myself. Yeah, I was I was check, checking levels. Cool. I, I forgot. Uh -huh. Give me a second. I, I I have I found a list online of like prompts that people made, and I'm gonna give it to you because I, I want you to see if any as as we're playing the, like the we're, I want to do the stand, the recommended mode night in the kingdom of Larry of uh Larian is that how you pronounce it? Where is it? There it is. But, uh, yeah, and it's just just to like a quick demo to show you uh exact like how more advanced it is. Uh, here. Whale like a Lord. demo of comparison? No, these are just some, uh, some, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that. Uh. I guess we could put in one of our old ones that we used last time. Yeah, what was, uh, one of our old ones? I, I don't know, you what? have to pull up YouTube. Oh, well that's, well we're already, we're already wasting time. How about, how about we do, uh, how about we do the zombies? Okay, sure. Let's do zombies. We didn't last time we did apocalyptic was Vash Jojo. I already forgot the guy's name. Va <laughs> we got a dude with a stand. Yeah, and then the other guy had a stand. Hey, Chin Mango, happy birthday! I said it to show up. I think it should show up. What should show up? The yeah, I put the I put the window in the. Oh no, I didn't. Hold on. Okay, there, I fixed it. Uh, the it should sh uh, chat messages should show up uh, now. Sorry about that, Jin. Happy birthday. Type in uh, type in your first message again, a a and uh, just, just for posterity's sake. Should be the browser under the chat under the alert box. Yep, I did that. Uh, do you want to be a scientist, Jack? Uh, I, oh, I want to be a I want to I I, I want to be an average fighter, but a brilliant scientist. Oh, yes. Yep, there we go. It's showing up now. All right. We are a scientist. We are a scientist in the zombie apocalypse, what, question mark? Yeah, uh, what's our name? Uh, what's a good name for a zombie scientist? Zombies. Attack on Titan had a zombie scientist. Zomb she was the best character I saw. Zombie scientist. Uh... Uh... Car Professor Reality. Honesty okay. Professor. Professor Re I am Professor Reality. You are Professor Reality, a scientist trying to survive in a world filled with infected zombies everywhere. You have a backpack and a solar-powered tablet. You pound your fists on the table, angry that you still haven't found the cure to the infection. You turn to your assistant and begin to speak. But we don't have to speak next. Yeah, we don't <laughs> have to speak next, but we probably should. <laughs> and begin to speak. Raise fist angrily! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. You come up with something to actually say. Uh... 
you too know about honor honesty professor caesar reality I, someone someone watched book of mario honesty professor caesar reality <laughs> well shit i really thought that we would have a vaccine by now <laughs> That are you able to make the text any bigger? Uh yeah, I can I can I can do that. Give me a second. Let me let me just type this in first so that I don't forget. I like how there's a colon on on that. Uh there we go. That's what I thought too, your assistant says. We better get going, the sun is setting soon. Wait a second, I need to write something down first. Quickly jot down notes to remember what you need to do next. Ready, you say. Your assistant nods and begins to push the button to open the door. It begins to slide open. Alright, let me, let me, uh... By the way, assistant, do you happen to know the name of White Snake's ninth album? <sighs> Uh, that's... I don't. I listen to Electro Jazz! Electro Jazz. Oh, that's text speed. Whoops. Display. Uh, text size, here we go. So the, the example game text is, uh... Is that good? That oh, looks good. Okay. Because we don't need that much text on screen at once. It makes it easier for me in the stream to read. Alright. There we go. It's the Monster Girl effect. No, they're all zombies. It's a we classic. Could, can we make this a monster girl infection? Infected zom sex zombies? Eh. I would not have to. Damn. The Polinic girls attack. I've seen people make this into erotica. Oh, I don't doubt that it's this possible. This is. No, with the dragon model, it's easier than ever to make to make erotica. This is this is like. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jack Anderson here. <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you if you yeah, you don't need to pay for Pornhub anymore. You just pay ten dollars a month at this. this. You get all the kinky shit you need. That. Why is this virus? Make. There, let's do that. <laughs> hey, hey, Darian. Damn, why does this virus make everyone horny zombies? Yeah, your assistant says. These last couple of weeks have been really stressful. I've been having the craziest sexual fantasies. Really? really? So have I! Your assistant begins to blush. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> You smile and give him a wink. He smiles back and holds the door open for you. Yeah. You nod and thanks and begin to walk outside with him. Oh shit, are we... Let's make this a slope. Let's see how far we can go and then try to successfully bring it back to not erotica. Alright. <laughs> we don't have... What's our assistant's name? It's just uh, our assistant. We're we're Professor Reality. We're our assistant. Well, it's a bit. Of, it's established that it's it's male. Is it a male? Yeah, he smiles back and holds the door uh, open. Oh, and walk outside with him. And uh, Professor Reality is an androgynous name. We could be either male or female. Ooh, no. We could we could make this Alfie's fate. Nemu, <laughs> a man named Nemu. Uh. Yeah, where where are we going? Where, uh, what are we doing? No, thank you. The, the the game it's seems seeming to try it's trying to guide us outside. Yeah. So we should probably go do something outside, out. right? We can go outside. We're going outside. <laughs> what do you just type do go outside? Yeah, go outside. You go outside. You walk outside and begin to head towards the bunker. But wait, where were we then? <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. The sun is shining and there are very few clouds in the sky. You walk for about an hour, 
taking in the scenery, admiring the flowers along the road. You stop and take a quick photo of a flower that's purple on the outside, but orange on the inside, and post it to Facebook with the caption, NUTS 2017! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got some lore here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, we we're, do. In a, I, we're presumably working in a laboratory. It yeah. is at least an hour's walk from the bunker where either other people are living or maybe we live there at night when we're not working in the lab. There are flowers, so that's fine. And Facebook. And also, Facebook still exists. And internet still works. Facebook survived the zombie apocalypse. The sexy zombie apocalypse. Hold on. What? Oh, I, do... I just, okay. I, I just thought of something. Oh yeah, go on. What? Go on. What? What? What do you? What do you think of? Man, I sure am glad Facebook survived the website wars. <laughs> sure am glad Facebook. It's like the franchise wars, except except with the internet. What was the Franchise Wars line from? Uh, Demolition Man, where she's like, Oh wait, we're going to Taco Bell? Yeah, Taco Bell was the only restaurant to survive the Franchise Wars. So, so now every restaurant is Taco Bell. I'm just, I'm just picturing, like, a bunch of, like, mercenaries decked out in McDonald's swag, and, like, a torturer dressed as Ronald the, cl the Clown, like, fight, like, like, uh, like, hanging, like, fucking, like, chihuahuas. He's, like, with a warning, Taco Bell, go home. Their war cry is, I'M LOVING IT! <laughs> Sight wars. Watch that flower be the cure. Well, maybe. We'll, we won't... We won't know. Yet. Alright. This model's not perfect. Sometimes you need to kind of make multiple attempts to get it to respond, but it, it doesn't take long. Your assistant... Hey. Oh, nods and smiles. He seems to be really enjoying the walk. You are too, to be honest. It's nice to get out of the bunker every once in a while. Hey, you say? Let's take a shortcut through that field over there. He thinks for a moment, then nods. You run across the field laughing as you go. You, you, you and me. <laughs> this is no the matter how you toss the dice, it has to be. <laughs> We're all, all the zombies are too busy fucking. That's why nobody. There's no. There's no threat here. That's why this is the, the happiest zombie story I've ever read. Because yeah, everybody's getting laid. You remember that that Caddyshack. There's like the, that end of the Caddyshack movie where one of the characters is like, "Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get laid," and he's like, "Everybody cheers." This is this is the future of that. Also, is the laboratory also a bunker? Because now we're talking about getting out of the bunker. Yeah, we got out of the bunker, then we head to, headed to the laboratory, and, and then I guess we can't we we can't move all this shit back because it would so be too much work, and all we got is is uh, us and and our and our uh, and our vaguely hot assistant. Uh, we, our, our laboratory bunker is a secret. We can't let other people know about it, because then that's another bunker they'd want to live in. Oh, no. oh you think so Are we going to have to introduce something bad happening to move this along? Uh, you, you, encou you encounter a sexy... Z you and your... What's the, what's the dialogue when, a, when a, an enemy appears in Monster Girl Quest? A... Something a, a sexy zombie capitalized appears. Oh, I need to I need to hit story because otherwise it'll just say you a do a sexy zombie. Sexy zombie M appeared. That's right. This is a strictly yaoi uh, yaoi story. Mm. It can go either way, honestly. Some, I don't see any. I don't see very much bisexual hentai, honestly. I, I wish eh. that was a that was a more explored uh, genre. Plenty, plenty of plenty of bisexual female hentai. Yeah, no, I want, I want, yeah, I, I want it to go both ways, equality. Oh, actually, exclamation point! That's how it goes. Yeah. Da, 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 da. What do you call threesomes then? Uh, it yeah. ain't gay if it's a three way. That, yeah. Okay, okay, you fits it. You're thrown into contact with a fast-moving object. It feels very warm. Or maybe it's just you. Wait a second. What the? What's going on here? 
What the, what the hell? hell? You say, your assistant looks at you and begins to blush, blush profusely. Shh! You'll ruin the moment, he says. The virus is spreading. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> to be well, like, maybe we should stop there and come back to this later. Then. Yeah, it's okay. These uh, they, they these can be saved, and you can come back to these just by hitting. But let's uh, let's mark, let's uh, name this. Uh, cue the cue the JoJo to be continued arrow. Title scientist. <laughs> yeah. The, t title. Sexy zombie apocalypse. Quests, find a cure for the zombie infection. Tags, uh, NSFW, hell yes. Was that suggested? Yeah, uh, no, it's, you can, you can tag that. And then it'll, it'll tell you, it'll tell people, hey, this is, alright. NSFW in the context of text, like, your boss would have to be really anal to be looking over your shoulder and reading the entire dialogue to check. If yeah, it it's not. Back. It's not like there's gonna be sexy ASCII art that just appears as you're playing. No. Although, maybe, maybe the AI can do that ev eventually. Oh, eventually, that'd Let's... be some. That'd be some learning AI. All right. Have you had a chance to look at the list I sent you yet? To see anything? Oh, you sent me a list. Yeah, of like of like scenarios people came up with. It's a long list. You can also take uh, take suggestions from chat. Chat, if you got has a story they'd like to hear. Chat, you got any suggestions for prompts? We're all ears. I'll write a story about uh, Land Hikari in Watch Dogs. You are Land Hikari. Uh, 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 how old is Land Hikari? Like 10? 11? Uh, it, I think he's 11 in in universe. He could be like an aged up Land Hikari. Yeah, in a dystopian aged... Battle Network future. You are Land Hikari, the newest member of Dead Set. You know, okay, so this AI actually recognizes fictional characters now. So like, I was, can create this crossover for us. Yes. So I was playing like a random psychic warrior, and then fucking a fucking a fucking alien race from Warhammer 40k came down, just randomly, and continue Book of Mario. <laughs> I touched it. I I don't want to break it. Other people will get pissed off if that happened. No, I, I like Did that happen. Uh, no, but I don't want to. Book of Mario is fucking eldritch. Uh, Why don't you start the start the Land Hikari Watchdogs thing? Yeah, and then and I will I will compile some Book of Mario text. <laughs> Let's do it. You are Land Hikari, the newest member of. Or no, he can be the founder. He could be the founder of, like, Japanese dead sec. Go for it. So the Battle Network takes place in 2000X. So, presumably, in order for him to be an adult, it would have to be 2002X? 2001X? Yeah, I guess. We could say 2020. Yeah, he's like, he's like 19 or whatever. The founder of... The... Japanese branch are a of There's a book of Mario wiki. There is piles the lore oh! from the altered book of Mario text. Oh fuck yeah, I'm going to have that up next time we next time we do book of Mario. There's a book of Mario 64. They, they did it to 64 and Super Paper Mario. Well, okay, we gotta play that next. <laughs> of Dead right, If you haven't watched our Battle Network streams, Land Hikari is the main character. Should we, should we just leave it like this, or should we put in more details? Uh, I, I guess that... I, it's up to, up to you, you can put in more details. Uh... How, how much of this world do you want to be established? Net... Well, we want to make sure that Mega Man's still our net navi. Megaman.exe is the most wanted. Exe and is also your twin. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I think we're good. I'm I'm in footing. 
You were born in this in a small village called Nip Nippon Machi, when which you think is somewhere on the island of Kyushu. <laughs> what? <laughs> we so in this universe, Lady Carter was born on the island of Kyushu. Okay. When well, you it's were, still Japan. Sorry, Electopia. When you were young, your parents died when you were only four years old. This is totally alternate continuity. The death of your parents caused a great deal of stress for you, as they had been very close to each other. Definitely alternate continuity. <laughs> it took a while before you could begin to comprehend what happened to them. They were murdered by Bloom Corp. Uh, Watchdogs, they're the people who made CTOs. They were a large corporation that specialized in the creation of cybernetic enhancements. Their CEO, Dr. Bloom, was an eccentric man who believed that he could create cyborgs and super soldiers with his creations. He was obsessed with creating a perfect soldier, one without any weaknesses or flaws whatsoever. Oh, he was creating reploids! Okay. <laughs> His experiments resulted in some unfortunate casualties, such as your mother's sister, who became addicted to drugs and eventually... Oh my, that's so fucking dark! <laughs> See, the AI filled in the backstory for us! Our aunt... Yeah. Wait, so... He, he, he did experiments to recreate this perfect soldier, which resulted in our aunt becoming addicted to drugs, drugs and killing herself. What was he fucking doing? Uh, was he like presumably in injecting drugs into people, or, or was she like trying to? Was he like trying to do like modifications, like that one asshole martial arts doctor from uh, from Baki? What are some super soldier projects? There's a uh, Metal Gear Solid, obviously. Yeah, the G human genome pro or the genome soldiers. Uh, Cloud was in like the soldier thing, right? Uh, and then there was uh, there was Captain America in that yeah, super that's serum. One. Uh, were, were there any super soldiers in Shallad Showdown, or were they all just monks? Uh, I don't think there were super soldiers. There was that Russian dude. Uh, Russian. Oh yeah, the Russian. Called the Russian. Uh. <clears throat> so, uh, what are we? Uh, what are what are we doing? We're gonna take get revenge on the CEO, Doctor Bloom. It, well, it sounds like there's a lot of watchdogs in here. Can we inject any more battle network? Uh, you currently live in an AC. You they. Oh, I want to say. I want to. I want to make this clear. Uh, bl like there's no. There are no like super soldier programs or like cybernetic like. Like enhance, like ultra cybernetic enhancements in Watch Dogs. All they did was just create like a like smart city software, and so use Bloom it to... is the only thing carried over from Watch Dogs. Yeah, their CEO's not called Doctor Bloom. Anyway. <laughs> so where does Bloom come from? Is that made? That's up? the name. No, that's I, I put Bloom in because that's the name of the corporation that that uh, Deadsec fights in Watch Dogs. Okay. Because they're the ones who So built. it did not get any information from Watch Dogs that you did not enter. No. They, it's just kind of filling in the gaps. Uh, your current... You currently live with anybody? Uh... We live it with do mail? you you got with mail? Your... Currently live with... We'll let the AI decide. What's her last name? May Sakurai. She she made Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> with male Sakurai in AC... DC... Town. It was called AC DC Town, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all capitalized town as well. And then we'll see. We'll see what the AI decides. Man, he killed our fucking... He killed all our family. An entertainment district filled with arcades, clubs, and bars. The area is also filled with cops, which are there to make sure no one gets out of line. The police force is the delinquent department's extra help to keep order in this area. Delinquent department... <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so ACDC Town is an entertain. Oh, I I whoops. I <laughs> did you see what I just did? Uh, you put the cross in it. No. Or the the, the slash. No, you say you currently. Uh, I hold on. I'm gonna fix you, this. You can undo, right? Yeah, I can undo. I can even repeat if if it. Uh, Should I not have the cross in there? Is that how, not how it... Uh... No, it's just ACDC. Okay. If you put the, the slash, it'll make it seem like electricity. Okay. Which, I mean, it is a reference to, but no, it's just the four letters. And... Alright. So this is going to com put something <laughs> completely different. God, this Land Hikari... This is edgy Land Hikari. Who's He's not... been through some shit. His parents died at four. She runs a restaurant. We live in ACDC town with male Sakurai. She runs a restaurant in the city center, and you've been living with her since you were six years old. Okay. She's a little crazy, but she means well. Since then, you've grown up in a world that is filled with technology and electronics. Computers, the internet, and other new technologies have become commonplace. <clears throat> Not to mention the increase of cyborgs and humanoid robots walking around. It's quite fascinating, really. Okay, so it's getting it, it's getting it right. Is this uh, a continuity where Wily won, and they funded robotics? So, is Dr. Bloom secretly Dr. Wily, but operating under a pseudonym? He would never do that. He's ne never done that in any of the Mega Man games. Alright, I think this is enough backstory. Let's get let's get into the action. Let's go on the internet. Yeah. You jack into the internet. I have Book of Mario ready for after this. Oh, you do? Sweet. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Sometimes the AI does this, uh, but fortunately, if you keep on going, it'll come up with something. It's not I like it'll... Mavericks. That's the wrong continuity. Your consciousness I mean, maybe. is... Your consciousness is transferred from your physical body and you find yourself in a completely different world. The OS comes online and a holographic interface comes into view. You find yourself in the familiar confines of the ACDC intranet. Good morning, land, the OS greets. Morning, you yawn as you make your way to the kitchen to grab a snack before school. Oh, like we're eating in the internet. Huh. So is Mega Man the OS or is that a different thing? I... Maybe that's one of the little programs. Maybe our, our alter ego is Mega Man .exe, or in this yeah. universe. It's his hacking persona? Yeah. Mega Man .exe. He thinks he's his twin, but he never really existed at all. Yeah. It's the trauma from all his family dying and he had him creating an imaginary friend that was also his twin brother. When did OG Mega Man take place? Was that 2000X? It was like 20XX? Yeah. Or was that Mega Man X? I don't know. 19xx? 1990x? Uh, so we've now established that we have a full-on, like, virtual reality more advanced than Battle Network. Where yes. we can, like, spend time and eat in there. Yeah. That's the power of Bloom, motherfucker. Uh, oh! How is the security of the system... You ask the OS. He better. Wait, he's still in school. Yeah. So we've established that this is a, a younger, a, a still not like 20 something Lanakari. Yes. He's probably 10, 10 or 11 or something. How he, he lives with mail. The security of the system is at an all time. His parents are dead! Like, you're probably right. dating. So th this is a continuity where he was, like, adopted informally by Mail's family. Yeah. The security system is at an all time high, the OS responds. That's good to hear you say, munching on a virtual cookie. The police force has been working nonstop to try to find your parents' killer, the OS says. Yeah, you sigh. Hey, Lemius. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is a, this what is did I just join? It's the greatest crossover between Mega Man Battle Network and Watch Dogs to never exist. Yeah. The, the police. So, uh, what does Land think of the police? Uh. The police I mean, are. If they've been looking for, what, six years and they had nothing's been accomplished, he probably doesn't have much faith. The. The police couldn't hack their way out of a paper bag. <laughs> So something I've been using a lot is the reminder function. It uh, it, it helps keep uh, keep certain uh, things at the forefront of the AI's brain, like uh, like certain story beats, so that the AI just randomly doesn't like change stuff. What did you, did you like? Type something in and say reminder. Yeah, it do the reminder. Yeah, I, I can bring it up in a second. Police couldn't hack their way out of a paper bag. The OS says in agreement. It just parroted us. Yes, man. Yeah, it's literally yes, yes. Landakari, you are always right. Uh, you begin to feel uncomfortable with the conversation you're having with the OS. It feels as if it's been looked down on the. It's been looking down on the police force. That's something you don't want. <laughs> you would quickly say goodbye to the OS and leave for school. Well, he doesn't want a rogue AI. Yeah. <laughs> All Let's right. bring Mega Man into this. Or, okay. or is that... This is the reminder. Sorry, is is it... Yeah. Is he a separate character, or is he, like, his identity online? Uh... You, which would be funnier? Land uh, well, Hikari we, we, also... We probably need someone for him to talk to, right? Yeah, he's, he's got the OS called OS. <laughs> but he just left the OS. Yeah. No, he can be, he can be Dex can at, be... at school. Who, yeah, is, sure. Who is, uh... Who is, I guess, Gutsman? <laughs> That's their 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 uh, hacking team. It has a secret identity known as Mega Man dot e x e. I I like to use short stuff. Lan. Kari's parents were murdered by Bloom. Len Hikari is a member of Dead S Dead Sec. Is this the reminder? Yeah. Lan Hikari. This sounds like a cult lives. recitation. <laughs> That's how I type it. I feel like this is the most effective for the AI if you just keep it short and simple. Has Dr. Wiley been introduced yet? Well, we have a Dr. Bloom, which we have theorized is a, a pseudonym for Dr. Wiley. I can put it in the reminder text. Uh, nah, that's fine. Uh, well, okay. Uh. So now it doesn't generate anything new, but we still have to type something. No, it'll still generate st stuff. Yeah. Something so this... we're, we're going to school and meeting Dex and Go company. Go to school. See. And meet. Meet. You. Your... I like that Dex just became his friend. Like, before he was like a rival, and then you beat him, he's like, You're so cool! <clears throat> and me- <laughs> Yeah, I caught that, fortunately. Alright. He's a lanky, skinny kid. Oh no, Dex! <laughs> he, he's in alternate re alternate continuity. That's a, a conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theorist. I, I can't picture skinny Dex. That's so weird. He's, he's the, the kind, the kind of, of kid that believes that aliens created humans. And he and once tried to sell you a dirty magazine that had an interview and radio. <laughs> 
He has a big <laughs> smile on his face when he sees you. Oh, that's that's right. that's canon. Hey, hey Lan. Lan. He you're, says eagerly. You're not gonna, you're not gonna believe what I found out. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. I want to see what. This is some A plus characterization. <laughs> this is like the the the. <laughs> what's the what's the shittiest adaptation you can think of? Um, it doesn't get any character right, like Dragon Ball Evolution. This is Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> this is yeah, I found a name in the Castlevania continuity that I kind of liked. I don't know who he is, but I made him a character. <laughs> this is totally that. Uh, okay, let's continue. I'm gonna I'm going to see where this goes. I'll, so I'll do Dex, you can do you can do everything else. I've tried to sell you a dirty magazine with red that had re What? The police the found another body! He the, says excitedly. The police found another body, you say, Shock. Yeah, they found another dead body! Oh, sorry, you go on. It's you. Middle of the city, he says, a huge grin on his face. I was riding my bike home from school yesterday and I saw it! The, the dead body or the police? <laughs> so Dex probably has a theory about there being a dead body. He says another. So Another. this has been going on. <sighs> should we should we like say of course like should we be like wait another this has been going on or of course the serial killer has struck again. <laughs> Something. Uh, so do do you think it had well, it had something to do with Doctor Bloom? I don't know. Uh, I like that. We'll we'll get the antagonist in on it. Land, not so not so loud. The walls have ears. The digital walls. Keep in mind, it's still in the virtual world. Oh, that's right. It's weird matrix world. I don't know. Maybe he says clearly. Not sure. I have to go now. Well, that that didn't resolve anything. He begins to leave, but turns around and looks at you nervously. Hey, uh, you think I could come over sometime? <laughs> he asks nervously. <laughs> Digital or meat space? Yeah. <laughs> I just made that up. I hope the AI will cotton on to what I'm trying to say this is the test we have to test the dragon ai see how bad it is uh meat space of course sure you say come over in about an hour oh an hour real time so time flies in the virtual world he happily nods his head and leaves for his house you go home and wait for him to arrive before long he arrives at your door and comes inside he seems a bit nervous about being near home for the first time hmm I slowly unzip my lizard. I hope this isn't where this is going. Hey, Lan, you hear the theory people are talking about, about uh, sexy zombie virus they're working on? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Dex, I don't want to hear your theories. Oh, Shit, I hit just so, and then that was it. <laughs> oh. So. Yeah, well, fuck so. it. So, you say, trailing off. I saw a dead body the other day. <laughs> really wants to talk about this. <laughs> yes, Dex. Are you? How do you think it happened? How do? Yes, Dex. I saw a dead body. <laughs> it's like, it's like. Oh, uh, by the way, did I tell you about this? Yes, you did, Dex. I think the robots killed them. <laughs> the robots killed them? You <laughs> ask, surprised. What makes, what makes you say that? I saw a robot break down the door of the car when I was riding my bike home. It dragged the passenger out and left her on the side of the road. Did oh. you really see all that, or is, or is there no assumptions here, Dex? <laughs> That's pretty graphic. That's dragged her out and left her on the side of the. And he just biked on. He's just like, 
nothing to see here. <laughs> and, and you... Like, he sees that, and he's saying, hmm, that's slightly suspicious. Biked on? Hold on. Gotta fix the capitalization. And you just... And you just... <laughs> this... None of my business. <laughs> He's saying disbelief. I was scared, he admits. I'm sorry. I don't worry. You hear a car pull into your, your driveway. You walk over to the window and look out. It's your sister, Julia. I've got she a just sister? Got home from her cheerleader practice. <laughs> i got a cheerleader sister named Julia? <laughs> you open the door and greet her. <laughs> I got something. Hold on. Wait a... Now, is she a step... Is she male's sister? Is she, like, a stepsister? Wait a minute. I don't... have a sister named Jewel... It's like that one scene from uh, Eagle Heart where they're like, please, like playing poker games with everybody. He's like, man, this poker game's great. This weekly poker game's great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. We don't have a weekly poker game. It's a conspiracy land. What? He's... My sister's name is Male, not Julia. You. Oh. They remembered. Yeah. Are you, are you sure? He asks. I've known you for a few months now, and you've mentioned your sister several times. You walk over to your bedroom window and look out your driveway. <laughs> oh, did somebody? Did somebody? Did somebody hack our memories? Well, because no, we remembered that we don't have that, so I guess someone trying to trick us. Is Dex? You mentioned your sister several times. He's in on it. Hmm. <laughs> or did somebody hack Dex's memory? I bet that seems plausible, especially because he's a conspiracy theorist. Dex, I'm, I'm picturing for this particular Dex, there's like uh, there's a, a little nerdy conspiracy character in Kenichi. Oh yeah. I don't think we got around to meeting. Oh, well, we gotta watch Kenichi then and get to that character. He was like a weird anime Spock. He had pointed ears for no reason. Was he an elf? Did There's he... no reason, no explanation. So, what is Land's response to this sister conspiracy? Dex, maybe someone hacked your... Dex, you been on any weird websites lately? On this is turning into a Kingdom Hearts plot. Is is this what Kingdom Hearts is? <laughs> Memories. People finding surprise sisters, memory replacements. I hope it generates a website. I hope so too, Whipper. That'll be hilarious. Maybe. Maybe someone hacked your memories. You been on any weird websites lately? I go on a lot of weird websites, he admits. But I don't think any of them would try to hack my memories. Why? What's going on? Before you can answer, the door opens. Oh, let's do that. I... Okay, I'll leave it without... I feel like E621 would try a memory wipe. <laughs> nah, man, they're, they're just a bunch of chill furries. They wouldn't do that. <laughs> Before you can answer, the door opens, and your sister walks in. She stares at you and Dex with a look of surprise on her face. Hey, hey Julia. Julia. I told <laughs> you guys to stop calling me that. She says annoyed. My name's Mail. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's like lost instead of answers like getting more questions <laughs> she 
begins walking towards her bedroom, and you quickly run after her. You grab her shoulder and turn her around to face you. <laughs> Why are we doing this? What are we- Okay. <laughs> See, this model's great! It's like- It's- It's just crazy enough. Uh, Dale, have I been acting strangely the past few days? Let's do that. So Dex claims that her name was Julia, and he claims that we were calling her Julia for several days. Yeah. Oh my god, there's some kind of weird virus going on. Our security isn't up to snuff. So I guess uh, Mail is, is supposed to be our, like, adopted sister or something, and... Yeah, Lan was adopted into their household because he was had no parents. Yeah. You ask? You've been a little off ever since you found out about Mom and Dad, she admits, but that's to be expected. Wait. Have I done anything weird? You ask? She, she stares at you for a few moments, thinking. No, no not... not that I can think of, she says. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is, uh, the mystery thickens. We've been... <laughs> Julie... Who's Julia? Need to Does the name Julia mean anything to you? The AI is an unreliable narrator. <laughs> Maybe the AI will bring Julia back if we mention it. Then who's... Julia. Maybe Julia? Ju Maybe Julia's your mom's name or something. No, the the mom's name is... Wait, wait, what was well, Lance? this is Mail's mom. It was not established. Then who's... Also, we found out that apparently something happened with Mail's mom and dad that we don't know about. Since you found out about mom and dad... What are you talking about? She asked, looking genuinely confused. You just called me Julia! <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> no! She stares at you in silence for a few moments before bursting out laughing. Oh, oh. my god, she says, trying to catch her breath. You actually fell for that? <laughs> okay, now it's lost to me. Okay, well, let's, let's, uh, let's, re let's regen. Let's, uh, let's restart and, uh, and see what happens. Because, because, all right. As in, do a new story, yeah, or... No, we, uh, we, I hit the refresh. Then who's Julia? You asked Julia. There is no there Julia. There is no Julia? Who is she? You're Julia! You say, my name is Mail. Now let go of me! She pulls her shoulder away from you, walks into the bedroom. See, this makes... This is a better one. So Lan's own, like, internal brain information is conflicting with itself. All right, I, I got, I got. So Lan is like realizing that he can no longer trust his own brain, and Dex too, I guess. Yeah. He's feel. Can you imagine that you're feeling like like um like heavy cognitive dissonance, just like you 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 believe strongly about two separate facts and they both seem real and you're just like utterly fucking confused. That's... Half of your brain is thoroughly convinced that my name is Jesse. And, and the other half is convinced that your name is... <laughs> Zelrog. Yeah. She pulls her shoulder away from you and walks into her... Okay. So, so he can't... So this is Lan's problem. This yeah. This is pretty much confirmed to be a problem with Lan's brain. How is he going to address this? He's going to have to investigate. Go to, oh, whoops. Go to your computer and debug your brain. Maybe it's a reality shift. Mandela effect. <laughs> it's a quantum Mandela effect. This is actually kind of interesting, because it, it starts off small. Just like, wait, Julia? Who's Julia? Sit at your desk and start up your laptop. After logging into your desktop, 
you open up your browser and begin looking for information on Dr. Dr. Reaper Bloom. <laughs> <Reaper Bloom. laughs> After about 20 minutes of searching, you come up with very little. A few news articles about his winning a Nobel Prize in chemistry. But other than that, almost no Wait, he's a- so he's, he's a not a roboticist. He's a chemist. <laughs> okay. But, also, oh, we because... Left, we just fucking left Dex sitting in the living room alone for 20 minutes. Maybe he followed us. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm scrolling up a bit, and, and it said that, that, uh, that our mother's sister was addicted to drugs and killed herself. Do you think, you think it had to do with the chemist? I'm oh, on! Oh, yeah, Dr. Bloom, the chemist. Was creating super soldiers. Okay, everything is coming together. This is starting to make sense now. Man, for a famous guy, he sure is obscure. <laughs> Re Rebirth. What, what kind of a name? His name. Is it's like the doctor mistyped it on the birth certificate, and it just stuck. <laughs> I could buy it. Uh, Nobel Prize in chemistry. Wait a minute. I came up here to I came up here to defragment or to, to de debug. Why am I looking up Doctor Bloom? I'm guessing that cyb that cybernetics that like uh, Ghost in the Shell like style uh, brain cases are a thing in this universe or yeah. something. Well, it's been established that we have robotics and cybernetics, so. Uh... This is in that way actually more advanced than a ri original Battle Network. Yeah, this is way more advanced. Yeah, we did leave fucking uh, Dex just hanging. You just, I like how I get that occasionally where I go to do something and I kind of trail off and do something else, but... Do what? Julia asks, walking into the room. Oh, oh no. no! Never mind. You say, deciding not to talk about it more. Hey, Julia, why don't you have a boyfriend? You think I'd be interested in someone like you? She asks, jokingly. <laughs> now, did Mayo really walk in? Or is this all just a figment of his imagination? <laughs> himself what Cut. am i saying there uh, uh, what am i doing there is no julia oh <laughs> Who are you talking to, Julia asks. No one, you say. Hear a low growling noise. It's coming from the closet. Is someone in there, she asks, suddenly scared. The door slowly opens. You see a pale, gaunt figure with sunken eyes and bleeding lips. Dr. Bloom, I knew this was your doing. <laughs> I don't know. Where do you want to go with this? I like that. <laughs> I don't know what. The accident wasn't your fault, Land. You have to move on. <laughs> All right. Come on, Dr. Bloom. Oh, this AI is really, really thinking about it. It's got to come up with a good ending, a compelling closure. Compelling. Come on, eh? There, okay. You say, standing up. The figure lets out a terrified yelp and runs out of the room. What the hell? Julie says, standing up. Who's there? You walk out of the room, following the figure into the hallway. It sees you and immediately darts into Julia's room. <laughs> uh. 
Oh no! Mail! <laughs> Do it. <laughs> He's going after the panties. It's that long-legged dude from uh, from World of Horror, or that yeah. long-armed dude from World of Horror. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Julia. <laughs> this is. That's not Lan's girlfriend. That's Spike's girlfriend. You re and see Mail sitting on her bed reading a book. What's going on? She asks. Nothing. Just a ghost. Are you sure? She asks, unconvinced. Sounds like you were yelling at me. Wait. Was this all in his head? Realize that you can no longer trust your... At some point, the AI is going to have Julia and Mail in the same room. Wait, did Julia disappear? Yeah, as well as that gaunt figure from the fucking closet apparently just disappeared. This It, it is coming to be that it is all in his head. He ran from the room. He came into Mail's room. She's here. No one else is. I need to debug my brain. You say, you say conf confused. What? Mail asks confused. I need to remove the buggy code from my brain! You say why? You say. What are you talking about? Is this a joke? <laughs> Not now, Julia! <laughs> I'm joking, you don't <laughs> <care. laughs> That's, I, Damn it! <laughs> uh, is this a joke? You erase Julia from your memory. Okay, yes. Uh, say, I should, I should go to do. Julia does not exist. <sighs> Maybe Julia's an imaginary friend or whatever. No, that's his twin, uh, brother, Hub. You open a text and begin to type to myself from yourself. Hello, you've been infected by the CRM-114 virus. This virus makes you believe that your sister is an evil genius planning to destroy the world. The only Mail way to... was Dr. Bloom. <laughs> was your dead aunt ever named? No. The only way to remove this false information is to send a message to yourself that you must then send to yourself. This sounds complicated, but it's actually simple. So we had a virus. <laughs> we believed that Mail was the do the doctor who ran from the closet to Mail's room, and then only Mail was in there. But yeah. I guess we've solved it. Yeah. That <laughs> to myself. He's closed. <laughs> Send the. Maybe Julie is just the first symptom of the virus. I'm gonna send the message to myself. Cause that's how that's how you get rid of it, I guess. Gotta delete system thirty-two. You overwrote your system thirty-two for porn? <laughs> NHK. You've infected, uh... This is... It's a similar... From your... To yourself. From yourself. Hello, you've been... Sigh. Yeah, that's our ending. In... Re... Uh... Oh, whoops. That's say. I need to do... So it's just a shitty cha e chain email then. But yeah. That's the cure though. That's the cure. The cure is a chain mail. Yeah, I just have to take care of this. You see. Okay, that, uh, we'll leave it at that. 
<laughs> That's fucking surreal. Uh, what should we name this uh, this adventure? Uh, Lan Title. gets infected. All right. Next up on our guide of uh, of uh, AI dungeon. Uh, give me the. Give it to. I just sent you the first part of the Book of Mario intro. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Six. And. Oh. What? What? Control C. Control V. Can you not paste? Oh no! Because uh, you have to type it in manually. I I certainly hope not. I have to type it in manually. Well. <sighs> Give me a sec. Let me let me rearrange everything. <laughs> I should have done this in Chrome. <clears throat> this this is my hubris. Oh no, it's... T Discord is too big, and this is also too big. Alright, I got it. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, if I click the fucking interact... Okay, there we go! I did it! The, the woes of only having one, one screen to stream with. Yeah, no shit. Uh, you are... Oh, now it's too small. Now I can't see the text. All right, I got it. R. <clears throat> oh god, damn it. <laughs> Here's Will. The main issue with recording off of a browser specifically is that it can be hard to get the dir the dimensions right, and you have to worry about, you know, capturing the part that isn't all your tabs and everything. Yeah. If you have two monitors, you can go full screen and make it easier, but uh, you don't, so. There's a horror movie called Chain Letter. I've 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 uh, seen clips of that. That movie was <laughs> it was like Saw except with chain letters. Oh, okay. Could probably adapt that to the to the concept of Final Destination somehow. If you if you delete the chain mail, then the killer would come after you. Hmm. Who is death at gmail .com, and why is he sending me emails? Oh man, the the worst uh, internet horror movie I've ever seen was a movie called Smiley. Yeah. And uh, basically it's about the thing a killer emote. Y yes. And uh, it, the killer emote uh it said that it it'll come out if you go into a chat room and type in I did it for the lulls five times. I'm not joking. Who was the There was there was an old like Atari game. Where if you lingered too long, a, a smiley face would come around and, and try to kill you. Oh, uh... Maybe, maybe that was a creepy pasta. Oh, you're thinking of uh, Sinistro's Revenge. Sinistro? Sin Sinistro's Revenge. It seemed that... The city... Sinister Revenge? Something like that. It was an old arcade game where you would blow up stuff and then... Uh, I don't know if that's the right game. Oh, well, okay then. Then it might have been a creepypasta.
I'm half. I'm almost halfway through. Shout out to the Godzilla NES creepy pasta. Was one of the better creepy pastas of the time. The great. Oh God, his name is actually on the Book of Mario Wiki. His article is listed as Honesty Professor Caesar Reality. Yes. Yes, I, I because it's the best. That's what you do. It's like when I when I call uh, Pegasus Maximilian Pegasus J Crawford. Yeah, you just combine them. Oh, by the way, so I've been watching this channel called. Uh, Fact Fiend, and it's basically just two people, uh, like, uh, reading, like, uh, telling about interesting stories in a, like, kind of a casual, like, funny format. And uh, this dude really likes comics and stuff, but he doesn't really play a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda, so for his weeky weekend, he was learning about, uh, about Ganondorf for the longest time, and, uh, because he, he didn't play, like, uh, like, Ocarina of Time, right? Uh... And he realizes that his full name is Ganondorf Dragmire, and he thought that that was, like, one of the coolest things ever. I, I think it's pretty cool. Also, Ganondorf don't. Also, he was told uh, that, uh, that, like, in Ocarina of Time, you're climbing up to, like, the top of the tower, and he's, like, playing a pipe organ, and he's playing his own theme music on the pipe organ, and he just laughed really hard. Yeah. Because he, he's, like, because he saw that Hobbies, uh... Pipe organ. Wait, he plays the pipe organ? <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, he does. Because <laughs> he plays one in, uh... You no, know, the Ben Drowned ARG recently picked up attention again. ARG? Alternate reality game. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright! Alright, the prompt is ready. Let's do this. More like Ganondorf Quag Quagmire. Giggity! That's, that's the harem version. You, were you are Mario. Thousands of years will tell you about the gate. It takes a long time. Da 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 da. We read all this yesterday. Uh, darkness meets the sky and the earth crashes and is sad. It was as hard as hell in the world. That's where it ends. You were alone and lost, but you still have hope to find your way out of this dark tunnel. A pipe. The only thing that can help you is the person who is with you now. A girl from the past. A girl who was in love with you before everything changed. Um, Princess okay. Peach? Is that who that's supposed to be? I, I, I guess so. That's okay. the only one who, who, who it could be, because we just met Goombell. It's me, Mario! <laughs> <laughs> I I she smiles at you she says she remembers when you were just a little boy and she was just an old lady oh it's uh it's not it's not peach it's uh it's Pal not, uh, rosalina when the two of them met they fell in love immediately they lived happily together for many years until one day the world changed forever and then the world changed again Is this all we're gonna enter? <laughs> we're gonna, Go I'm, for it! I'm down. I'm gonna speak Italian. Get get the Italian trans. You see, Woo -hoo! A <laughs> you see, <a> str <laughs> you're gonna have so much fun there. You wake up inside a castle. There is a strange, heavy crown on your head. The walls around you are dark and stained. You see thr the thrones in the room with chains on them. Mamma mia! <laughs> We're intentionally trying to break this. Day. This is the AI stress test. Yeah. See a strange and distant place. There are. Many oh no! Things that you can enjoy. You're going to have so much fun there. You wake up inside a castle. There's a strange, heavy crowd on your head. The walls around your dark and stained. It just repeated. Yeah. We regenerate. 
All right, I'm gonna try that again. It was good for the first half. We we almost went to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, but we're inside a castle now. We're not. To be fair, we're not giving the AI much to work with. We're just quoting Mario at it. Yeah. The AI doesn't know what to say. I'm gonna. You could do it. I believe in you, AI. If only we could undo just like parts of it. You you wake you wake up inside a strange room. You're wearing strange clothes that you have never seen before. You can see a mirror on the wall across from you. you. Walk over to the mirror and look at yourself. You see a girl with a pretty dress on. There are no mirrors in the rooms of the castle, so you've never seen a reflection of your Oh! We got we, we put on this we put on the super Hi, crown. I'm Daisy. Castlevania story. It just keeps waking up in different realities. You walk through you the walk through the castle halls. You, you hear can hear your name being called out from somewhere far away. It sounds like your mom. Daisy, where are you, Daisy? You look down at the ground and see that you are barefoot. You don't your, want your mom to see your bare feet. You run into a nearby room and close the door behind you. <laughs> we were Mario, then we are Daisy, and now our mom um petunia is after us i guess so this, petunia this is a strange turn so are we actually daisy or are we like mario in daisy's body uh well we can keep quoting mart uh what, what, what's a good mario quote for this situation uh Oh no! Oh no! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Where is Luigi? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then the mom comes it. in. That's Mama Luigi to you. <laughs> uh, oh a a no! AI's uh, AI's having trouble. Give me a second. Run down. Run down the stairs and into the castle lobby. You can hear your mom calling for you. You quickly run outside and into the courtyard. The guards standing outside the castle entrance are looking around, trying to find you. You run behind a tree and try to stay hidden. Have you seen Daisy? The guard asks. No, I haven't seen her. <laughs> oh, okay. Somehow, just doing Mario quotes is moving the story along. So we were Mario. So, I guess the Mario, Mario stuff... I Go on. So I guess the Mario stuff was a dream, and now we're Daisy? I, I see it as Mario suddenly has found himself in Daisy's body and is freaking out, trying to escape. Okay, and well... Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. Woo! Maybe we should do a do. A run do. out of the courtyard and into the street. You can hear your mom's voice calling for you again. She's getting closer. Run as fast as you can down the street. You can hear the guards behind you. You try to run even faster. You see a store up ahead that you've never seen before. It looks really fancy. You have to get inside it. Oh. Oh, is it the cap shop? Uh, what is the cap shop called? I, I, I uh, Crazy caps? It's a me, Wario. Or a welcome to Wario World. Go inside the store. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's try this. <laughs> Become we are our <laughs> we row. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's Book of Mario Wario. A strange man with a black coat and top hat says to you, "What can I get for you today?" I have to hide, you say. <laughs> I have to uh, hide. Uh, I see. I see. <laughs> well, well I, I just got in a new line of adorable mouse hats. Would you like to see them? Yes, please. 
<laughs> and he walks over to a shelf and grabs a box. He shows you several several different kinds of hats. Uh. <laughs> what, uh. Shit, what other Mario quotes are are there? He doesn't say a lot. Uh. How you, how you spell Arrivederci? I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, like at, at, at what point do we try to actually progress the story? Uh, what story? We try to remove the crown, but it won't come off. Thank you so much for playing my game. Okay, I'll, you... So long, gay Bowser! I forgot about... <laughs> I forgot... Try... To... Re... What if we say, so long, gay Bowser, and then suddenly it turns into Yowie again? Okay, I can do that. Equip hat and let the AI decide what it does. That's what I was going to do. Well, oh, I, I was going to try to. Rem I had three good ones, but I'm going to say this. All right, yeah. Be final quest: becoming Wario. It's just it's uh. Was it Leaper? Is that is that the show where the guy is just jumping from rea like world to world? Uh, sliders, sliders, or and then Quantum Leap. That was another one. Sliders was like they were actually going between world to world, whereas uh, whereas Quantum Leap was a guy just leaping into the bodies of other people. Quantum Leap is what I'm thinking of. That's Quantum Leap. This is Quantum Leap. All right. <laughs> it is uh shows you funny ones, pretty ones, cute ones. It is so many that you can't decide. I'll take them all! You see, the man puts all the hats in a big bag and hands it to you. Here you go, kid. That'll be $700. You look in your pocket. There is $20. <laughs> Thank you so much for paying my bill. <laughs> I can only pay you twenty dollars. Please, can I have the hats for that price? <laughs> he <laughs> nods his head yes. <laughs> you give him the twenty dollars and he hands you the bag. Barter hundred. Barter hundred. <laughs> Roll crit. Charm. <laughs> Run out of the store and into the street. <laughs> Hold on. I got it. The hats. Equip all the hats. We'll see what happens. Well, hat bins. Wear all the hats. Buy all the things. Wow, what you Equip a all the hats on your head. Wow, what lovely hats, you say, looking at your reflection in a store window. Suddenly you hear a loud siren. Ah! You scream. You look around and realize that everyone is staring at you. The alarm gets louder and louder. And then you wake up. Oh. <laughs> it was all a dream. Mamma mia! Or right. maybe this is when we become Wario. Hat dream. <laughs> what a we so uh, that's like one of those weird dreams you would get that are boring but also very strange. You are surrounded by the familiar walls of your room. It was all just a dream, but it seems so real. You look at the clock and see that it is very early in the morning. You get out of bed and walk down the stairs to the kitchen, where we look in the mirror and what do we see? No, I got it. I had a. Uh... I had a dream the other night. Yeah. That I had discovered that wearing uh, latex gloves underneath oven mitts would allow one to flap his arms and fly. <laughs> and I had to convince Ricky Gervais of this fact. 
And Ricky Gervais was calling you a fucking idiot. That's a right? load of bollocks. Yeah. Minus eight version of Mario character. <laughs> oh, minus eight. Got a very. Luigi looks at you. Hey, bro! Morning, Morning Luigi! You're about to walk past him to get a glass of orange juice from the fridge when he grabs your arm. Uh, hey! What happened last night? You came home really late! Your mom was up waiting for you. Your mo mom, Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nothing. I just went to have some fun. It was really boring. Luigi, just... Luigi doesn't look convinced, but he drops it. Mario and Luigi don't have to say, Mama Luigi. We're, we're, uh, we're Link. We're in, we woke in the, in the meme universe. <laughs> it sure is boring around here. Hold on. I... I... Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Luigi, that's why. No, it's no, Luigi it's, Mario. No, it's Luigi Mario. You look at the mirror. You walk over to the large mirror in the foyer. You look at yourself. You're wearing a fancy green and purple tuxedo. Wait. Oh, he's got his stand outfit on. <laughs> his JoJo outfit. So we are Mario. I really need to change out of this, you say. You turn around and see a small box on the floor. It looks like it was delivered recently. I wonder who this is from. You yep. open the box and find a brand new Nintendo DS inside. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that, that's really awesome. The game is fun. The game is fun. Uh, oh, fuck it. You, re you read the tag. All right. You take a look at who sent it. Read the tag to find out who sent it. Hell yeah, now we can play Pokemon Black and White. This is actually a good writing tool. I feel like I'd be actually be able to write stuff down by just having the AI generate stuff and then filling in the gaps afterwards. On the tag it says, Dear Your, your name. name, have fun on your birthday. From Anonymous. A new DS. A new DS? Sweet. You look around and see that your mom has already gone to work. We've got a mother. Luigi? Is is mom is Luigi our mother? No, because Luigi's here. He's still in his pajamas eating frosted flakes. <laughs> That's such a Luigi thing to do. <laughs> He's staring at you like he wants to play the on the new DS. On this weird kid Mario Brothers. Scenario. This is this is after Yoshi's Island, but before like the Mario verse. Young Mario. Young Mario and young Luigi and and their mom. I thought, wait, unless our mom is a Yoshi. It's Mama Yoshi. Mama Yoshi. Uh. Oh. Uh. Let, let, let's find out who the mother is. You go into the kitchen and see your mother. You were surprised to find that it's... But... but but our mom's already gone to work, so we're, we'll need oh, to find a picture of our darn. mother. You look at a uh, of your mother. That's just going to say more about the mother, though, without revealing any specific identity. Uh... Look at that picture, Mother. She looks young and beautiful in the picture. You were so beautiful before you had me and Luigi. <laughs> oh, God. What a day. Mario. I wish I could make you happy, Mom. Okay. You hear your stomach growl. I guess I'll go make myself some breakfast. You walk into the kitchen and open the refrigerator. You. It's all uh, pasta with no sauce. It's all spaghetti with no sauce. <laughs> Because that's what he ate in the show. Oh. What kind of a freak eats just spaghetti with no sauce? I don't know, Luigi. It's good. Damn it. I misspelled it. This is it. just a Mario fanfic now. Yeah, yeah. I misspelled... Except with 
Mario has an Oedipus con complex. It salvages the opening of Book of Mario and now we're just in normal fanfic. Yeah, this AI just looks at all the fucking, like, I guarantee you, if we were playing on the Griffin model, the, the AI would, would just kill itself. I forgot how to spell spaghetti. <laughs> uh, S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I. Oh, I forgot the H. Got it. Spaghetti. If you really ate just spaghetti without sauce in the show... Why? Spaghetti. Why? Why did? But the sauce is like it go. They go. I to, guess they just didn't want to animate sauce. Was he allergic to tomatoes? It's all spaghetti without sauce. You, you hate plain. Well, this, that's not my Mario. I wish I could have something else. You say, you say to yourself. Suddenly, you hear the doorbell ring. I'll <laughs> get it. You hear Luigi. <laughs> this is the oh, second. Oh, I'll get it. You shout back. You open the front door and find a man in a uniform holding a covered dish. This is <laughs> you. He says, handing you the dish. Wait! <laughs> this is like some weird-ass cartoon now. Uh, so, just, oh, do we open the dish? We uncover the dish? Alright, we're uncovering the dish. Mario asks, and Mario is, Mario is a secretly a dimensional warper. <laughs> See, a large piece of lasagna. <laughs> Who is it from, your brother? Who is it from, you, your brother asks as he comes up behind you. It doesn't does say. Let's eat it. You and your brother eagerly dig into lasagna. It is delicious. After you finish, you put the cover back on the dish. Oh, that's nice of him. Uh... <laughs> So, we're just kind of living at home. There's no adventure going on. Uh, did, is did there a way we can involve Garfield somehow? <laughs> sure. Let's, 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 let's force a fight scene. Sud suddenly the cat attacks you. I, I don't know. Lasagna for breakfast. I've done that before. I've had leftover lasagna. It's the first thing I eat. Is it a Monday in the game? Oh, does that make him str- <laughs> Garfield bursts through the door. He looks pissed. What the hell, man? I've been sitting out there for hours. I had to pee, so I was finally about to come in and pee in your toilet. And then you guys eat all the food? That was really inconsiderate of you. Shrug your shoulder. We were hungry. Garfield glares at you and shakes his head. Whatever. We have to go pick up Tina now. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <Her mom first>? <laughs> this, this, now this became like a, an SFM. <laughs> and then you wake up. <laughs> this is a... Yeah. <laughs> From Boggs Burgers? No, Tina's mom. Wait, T <laughs> Tina's mom, mom Tina. <laughs> what the hell are we getting Tina from a place called Bob's Burgers? Oh, no. Oh, no, man, that's what it's called. <laughs> you and your brother get in the car and drive to Bob's Burger. Wait, we're, I guess we're teenagers. When you arrive, the three of you enter the building. I've never seen an episode of Bob's Burger. I have Bur not either. <laughs> And then you wake up. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <It's... laughs> just the one. Right now, just the, and then you wake up and see what it does. Yeah, it doesn't know. I, I'll have to force it. Eat Berg. Oh, man, you say, that dream was too short. You walk in the kitchen and start to make yourself some breakfast. Luigi turns Hey, bro. I don't 
think we have any plans for anything else. If you have any other ideas for story prompts, let, let us know in chat. The same dream, again. Over and over. Introduce Carbon to break the cycle. Like he's just... Not much, you... Hey bro, what's up? Not much. You hear your mother call you from upstairs. I have, I have to... to go, Luigi. <laughs> Mom needs help with something. You run upstairs and see your mother holding a photo in her hand. <laughs> this was me when I was a teenager. <laughs> I just read you look ahead. At the picture and see that it's a photo of your mother standing in front of Bob's Burgers. <laughs> I think we'll end it there. <laughs> see, it wasn't a dream, Luigi. <laughs> the Terminal Seven break. That was trippy. This game... <laughs> Alright. We did a Dragon Ball thing last time. Yeah, uh, it, it kind of worked with, uh, with the old model. We haven't done any uh, Death Clock things in AI Dungeon yet. Uh, do a prompt where you wake up and realize everything is cake. <laughs> it's interesting. We'll combine the two. I got an idea. The text is too small for me to see what Jack is typing, so I'll So just, it'll be uh, a surprise. Yeah. DBZ characters having very mundane problems. I'll do that next I'll do that's the next one we'll do. I I started uh I finished watching Metal Gear 2 and I've started Metal Gear Solid 3. One of the soldiers sounded like Goku. I think it might have been Sean Schemmel. Yeah, you're probably right. Goku stumps his toe and then he destroys the fucking mountain. T-H-K-L-O-K? -K. Yeah. Okay. Vegeta has to file his taxes. I actually, I actually, that, that one it seems the most interesting. The How am I supposed to know what a W-40 is? <laughs> Alright, it's going. Go for it. Uh, you are Nathan Explosion. You are the lead singer of the metal band Death Clock. You wake up and realize that everything is cake. The world has been turned upside down, but you have a plan to make it right again. The first thing you do is call your manager. Oh, it's Oftenson. He yeah. answers immediately. Hello? He says. I'm sorry, I was asleep for five minutes. Uh, what do we, How do you spell Oftenson? Uh, yeah, let me look it up. Death clock off. O F F D E N S E N. Is there a manager? Up. But the phone is cake. Shit, I forgot how to spell experience. God damn it. EXP. 
E R I E N C E. That's what I was trying to do, but experience. All right. Hey, Oftenson, what's the opposite of brutal? Because I think I'm experiencing that right now. What the hell are you talking about? He asks. How did you even get on my answering machine? It's not like, uh... It's not like I have many options here in this town, you reply. So if we're going to work together, we need to be able to communicate with each other. <laughs> How'd he you... He and hangs up on you. <laughs> it's real it's loading. Oh whoops, it didn't Come on. He's not so when up. Austin hangs up on you, you don't get back to him. <laughs> We're in the show. You call him back. You try to call him back, but you're not. You're sent immediately to his voicemail. Stop doing that, he barks into the phone. What's wrong with you? I'm having some trouble with this town. I need you to help me. You need to stop drinking, he says. <laughs> Already off to a rocky start. A little bit. He's just bugging his manager. I everything is cake. I need your help with this. Uh, I never drink before a show. Never. You've been doing a lot of crazy things since you got here. You set up a meeting with the governor and then then didn't even go. Oh no, that's the worst thing ever. You wandered into a wedding and now you're having meetings in your underwear. Uh, hey, hey, murder face was the underwear guy. <laughs> I, I like how he's tolerating him, but just, you call him back and he's just like, okay, sure. A hey, murder face was the underwear guy. Yeah, whatever. I'm coming to get you. The line goes dead. You sigh and head to the window. Outside, you can see the massive throng of people camped outside your hotel. The wall of death is in full swing. If you're going to escape, it has to be through there. Wait, wait. <laughs> you turn around and grab a bathrobe off the back of the door. But the bathrobe is made of cake. Take a bite of the robe, but it's made of cake. This is getting frustrating. You need to get out of here. The door swings open and Oftenson walks in. It's different spelling now. He's an older man with gray hair and a gruff exterior, but he's always taking care of you. That's actually kind of accurate. He has gray hair, right? No, he has brown hair, and he's uh, not old. Oh, okay. He raises an eyebrow when... Hold on, I got it. I'll, I'll fix this. Uh, he's a... Younger man with brown hair and a calm exterior? Yeah. There we go. This gets the AI on track, I find. He raises an eyebrow when he sees you with the bathrobe in your hands. <laughs> I forgot it was cake. <laughs> he, he just sees everything as cake. <laughs> Wait, 
Well, everything is cake. He just took a bite out of it. Yeah, uh, unless it's like only for him and the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, it's cake. I know it's cake. It's not the point. The, <laughs> the point is that I need to get out of here and I'm hungry. You're always hungry, he says. He crosses his arms and leans against the wall. You saw him put the robe back on the hook. It really was tasty, though. Why? Is... Why is everything cake? Are we... Are we playing in My Little Pony? Are we playing in Equestria? I mean, everything's not cake in Equestria. They'd be more like, uh, it's Adventure Time Land. This is... <laughs> yeah, we're... The hell is wrong with you? It's not the point. The point is that I need to get out of oh, here. Oh, hold on. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh it. Usually refreshing it once tends to get it out of its loop. Come on. Here we go. Why is everything cake? I don't know, he says. But it's okay to eat to eat in this hotel. Just don't try and wear anything. I really wish I could understand what was happening to me, you say. You don't need to worry about that right now, Oftenson says. I have a car waiting for us downstairs. We can escape through the back door. Is the car made of cake? <laughs> Everything is cake. Why is everything... <laughs> Not even a good song title. It's like a pop song title. Alright. AI, AI, AI is confused by our cake-related shenanigans. <laughs> now I just got a regular car this time. Now let's go. Oftenson walks to the door and you follow. He looks out into the hallway and sees that it's empty, then leads you to the elevator. He presses the button and the doors open immediately. Our luck is pretty good today, he says. Let's go. You step inside and he presses a button. Okay, so the we're- button is cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's progressing, it's moving. I, I just like this, uh, this fun- <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of that SCP story where everything was bees. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's not affected at all. <laughs> the door's closed and the elevator begins to descend. It stops a few times on other floors, but when it's finally your turn to get off, there's no one in the hallway. Oftenson checks both ways before waving you along. Let's go, he says. You turn and follow him as he walks towards the back door. The <laughs> back door is cake. Are we trying to avoid the paparazzi? Is that what's going on? I guess. It sounded like there was an angry crowd of people outside our cake hotel. Oh, is this, is this during that one season where Death Clock uh, pissed everyone off? Pissed off their bed? You thought, we thought you were one of us! I, I, I guess so. I don't know if I saw that season. Yeah, I, I kind of... Uh, it's loading. <laughs> That's interesting, he says, stepping in front of it. I didn't know doors could be cake. He reaches for the handle and pulls it open. A wave of heat comes through it, and you shield your eyes from the sun as you look out at the street in front of the hotel. There's a solid crowd of fans holding signs up, but they aren't at all what catches your attention. What catches our attention from this fucking cake hotel? The sun is cake! <laughs> Nathan, there's something very wrong with you. Get in the car. We're going to get you help. <laughs> well, no, because uh, because often is often said is like is off offhandedly reacting. I can see that. Oftenson says, "I told the hotel to keep it out of the atrium, but I guess it got through anyway." That's not the sun, you say, as he leads you down the steps and onto the sidewalk. That's not the sun we have back home. You're, You're not. not still thinking about home, are you? <laughs> <laughs> this 
this this is uh, why is this the most like death clock the most engaging one <laughs> <laughs> Nathan and Oftenson just found themselves in this world of cake, and, and Oftenson is going about business as usual. And Nathan's like, wait a minute, this whole fuck. <laughs> Are you not seeing this? Yes, I am seeing this. It's weird, but what can I do about it? The sky is the sky is cake, the ground is cake, the earth is cake, the water's cake. Planet cake. Except it's Cake! I don't know how long we carry this for. W E R and apostrophe T for weren't for what? Uh, w E R E N apostrophe T. Okay. All right, that makes sense. You're not still thinking about home, are you? He asks. Of course they were, he says. You just didn't know it. Who's they? Oh, the uh, things. things weren't cake at home. Of course they were. You just didn't know it. He leads you through the crowd of people and toward a huge black car waiting at the front of the line of hotel taxis. A young man in a black suit holds the door open for you. Uh... Thank you, Cal, Oftenson says, getting in. Let's get out of here. Where to, sir? I guess we're going to the airport. We gotta get back to to Mordhouse. I, I, I guess, uh, should we just say to Mordhouse, then? Yeah. M-O-R-D-H-A-U-S? Let me double-check that. I think that's right. Mordhouse. Not to be confused with that medieval fighting game, Mordhouse. That medieval first-person slasher game. That is the correct spelling. Okay. Okay. He just woke up of a hangover to find that everything is cake and that nobody gives a fuck. Wait a minute. It's all cake? Always has been, Nathan. <laughs> no! Okay. Come on, AI. But you can see how more coherent it was compared to last time where the AI would just get wildly off track constantly. It's, it's remembering previous plot factors. The concert, uh, right. He turns around. That's not what I said. He turns around in his seat and looks at you in the back. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can take you to the concert. Often since sighs heavily and sits back in his seat. I don't have time for this, he says. He... Uh... up the plane is it made out of cake <laughs> the car stalls because the road is cake uh he then shoots cal uh what are you doing cal asks grabbing his face and falling onto the seat you didn't have to do that i did oftenson says grabbing the wheel the car swerves out of line and into oncoming traffic horns honk as you drive directly towards a large truck you scream just before impact wham Fortunately, the truck was cake. F O R T U N A T E. Okay. L Y. There we go. Imagine if they actually showed this. Uh, this episode. This sounds like it could be a Rick and Morty episode. Yeah. <laughs> Cake. Unfortunately, you are not. <laughs> the end! <laughs> the just... impact with the cake truck was enough to kill them all. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's poetic. <laughs> Title. G. I gotta find a way to make a thumbnail of Nathan Explosion in Cake World. <laughs> uh, DBZ characters doing mundane things. Yeah, I want to do that one. Uh, uh, do we do the Vegeta taxes thing? I want to do the Vegeta taxes. 
You are Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans. That's how that's how I was gonna begin it, yes. Bulma, being rich, refuses to do her taxes. Bulma, your rich wife. He refuses to do taxes. Not your t just taxes. So I'm ending it at and. Okay. Does it, does it work that way? So here's here here's what I wrote. You are Vegeta, Prince of All Saiyans. Bulma, your rich wife, refuses to do taxes. You must do the taxes for her. You sit down on the desk to begin the paperwork and. Is that you think that'll work? Sure, go for it. All right, I'm doing going for it. Let's go, AI. Unfortunately, you are not. <laughs> I liked how that ended. Uh, you must do you sit down on the desk to begin the paperwork, and suddenly, you feel a sharp pain in your head. Your vision goes black as you hear a voice say, I, I am the one who shall be taking care of this. The screen fades out and back in again, showing that it is indeed Bulma. She smiles at you before saying, Well, I guess we'd better get started then. You decided to do the taxes after all, Bulma? Oh, I can't leave this to Vegeta. Uh... Wait a minute, I thought I was doing the taxes. Okay. <laughs> Vegeta doing taxes in his fucking Saiyan armor. Okay, so is this gonna be our last one? Sure. This will be our last one. <coughs> you say, Wait a minute, I thought I was doing the taxes! Oh no, not that, that's my job. Belmus says uh, with a smile, Then what the hell were you do- Wait. You, I'm confused who's talking. Uh. You look around nervously and see several men holding guns pointing their weapons at you. One of them looks like he might have been a cop once, but now just has a mustache and wears glasses. Oh, it's a uh, it's Canadian cop. Yeah. Oh, it is him. <laughs> and what are you going to do with those? <laughs> Did Bulma sell out Vegeta? He's like, oh, you got to reward. Cops came for her. How's the AI doing, by the way? How's the AI doing? Eh, it's good. It's not perfect, but it's good. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, what is the meaning of this, Bulma? Uh, you didn't think I'd actually let you out of our contract, did you? Now just settle down. This will all be over in a few minutes. The men with guns begin to surround you. You leap up and try to escape, but find the way blocked. The mustache man says, I wouldn't try that again, mister. Your wife here had us plant a bomb in your car while you were asleep. What? <laughs> I don't own a car! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Specifically, there was a cop in the original Dragon Ball that uh, helped Goku find Go uh, Bulma's house the first time he went to West City. And he was just a funny dude with a mustache and glasses and a Canadian accent, you know, that there. From Canada. I can help you find that there, uh, that Bear Brief's residence. Sure, kid. All right. 
All retired cops wear glasses and grow mustaches. Uh, they Vegeta got a mustache in GT. Yeah, then he Actually, shaved so, it. So did Krillin. Yeah. Was Krillin a retired cop? I think in the GT continuity, he just continued living off the swindled tournament earnings. I don't own a car! Oh, oh yes you do. You have a little pink Ford. <laughs> of course you would have a pink Ford. <laughs> Bad man. <laughs> that's the that's the license plate of his little pink Ford. <laughs> Ulma smirks and says, "You really think I'd let a man with your reputation buy me a new car? Oh no, I made sure it was my name on the registration. Now if you try to escape, the bomb will go off and blow up the car, killing everyone within ten meters. So you just sit tight, all right? All right, I understand now because the bomb wouldn't affect him, but it would hurt civilians. So that's his that's her way of getting him to to not go. Uh, evil Bulma. Evil. This this is an alternate continuity where Bulma was possessed by baby. Oh my god. She just got to figure out what the hell's going on to his Why wife. does Baby want, want her to do the taxes, though? <laughs> so so he can commit tax fraud. Okay. Oh, no, truly the most evil plan. Vegeta attempts to do taxes, and Bulma retaliates with terrorism. Uh, what's gotten into you, Bulma? Me? Nothing. I'm just doing what's best for business. And the first thing is making sure you never get away. <gasps> Yandere Bulma! <laughs> You try to think of something to say, some way to talk your way out of this, but you're distracted by a knock on the door. Bulma goes over to it and opens it up. A smile, ch a small child comes in, holding a big box. Uh, hello, is Mr. <laughs> Tanaka in? <laughs> Was there a Tanaka in Dragon Ball? No, who is a... Oh, uh, oh, I got it. I feel like we knew a Tanaka from somewhere. I... <laughs> Tanaka Kun is always listless is apparently the name of an anime. Huh. Tax evasion and childly. Bulma hates taxes so much she'd kill her husband to prevent him from doing them. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm inputting this. Maybe the small child is Pilaf. Uh, oh no, he lives next door and shoes the kid away. Well, can you take this to him? It's really heavy. Bulma nods and takes the box. You wonder what's in it. It feels like a vase, but it seems very light. Bulma says, thanks anyway, and closes the door. <laughs> and then you realize the box is ticking. <laughs> Oh. It's always with a Z and not with an S. It's so weird. In uh, Britain, it's with an S. I I did ticking with the with T I K, and I'm like fuck, because TikTok. Wasn't this supposed to be mundane? Wasn't that the idea? We started off mundane, then Bulma knocked us out and said that we should put a bomb in our car. <laughs> the bomb will go off in five minutes unless you file your taxes. Bulma. Then you realize the box is ticking. Bulma, what the hell is going on? She ignores you and walks into the kitchen. You follow her, she sets the box on the table. The ticking gets louder as you follow it across the room. Then there's a flash of light, and a blast knocks you back. The bomb has gone off. Then you wake up. <laughs> really? I, I don't know. H how do you want... I kind of want to just start this over, because it went to not mundane too quickly. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> attempt to... Uh, can I... Maybe it would work better without the and. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna try this again. You can't even copy paste within the within the program, can you? Nope. 
You are V E G E T A Vegeta. Of all you, how do I, how do we do it? You, you let you, uh, Bulma, your wife, Bul your. Maybe we shouldn't mention Bulma because then she like came in and kind of took over. I mean, I thought that was a thing where it was like. <laughs> uh, do you think? Do you think we should? Yeah, I, I was. I'll do it again. Your rich wife Bulma refuses to do her tax to do taxes. <clears throat> the is before the deadline you <coughs> sit down to do the this is period yeah and then I'm doing it you're late on your taxes. I uh, know. Uh, you are Vegeta, prince of all Saiyans. That's not the correct way to spell Saiyans. Your witch, your rich wife oh. Bulma refuses to do taxes. You plan on doing the taxes Hold before on. the deadline. I can fix this. No, I can't. I. S A. Well, rip. Hold on. You sit down to do the taxes. <clears throat> What's going on? You ask. I thought we were supposed to be doing this today. We're not, says Bulma. It's a holiday for us. We have time off. Oh, I see, you say, scratching your head in confusion. Suddenly, Bulma gets off, gets up and runs over to you with her arms outstretched. What? No, we're not doing taxes. We're going on holiday. <laughs> it just, it doesn't want to do mundane DBZ. It keeps <laughs> overwriting it with other shit. Yeah. <laughs> if you... Maybe we should go back in time. You are Vegeta, a member of the Frieza army. You are filing your taxes <laughs> for Frieza. You're late. <laughs> We're trying to make... <laughs> Just Bulma, if you don't do your taxes, we'll all be in trouble. Don't worry about that. Just get it done so we can go home. She goes back to work, and you finish up your own taxes. It takes forever, but eventually you come out ahead. When you finally reach the door to the spaceship, <laughs> you open it up and step inside. We were going in- All right, a hundred times gravity! <laughs> oh, so he- Okay. Right. So we're just ignoring the taxes thing. He did the taxes! It took him a while, but he- It took forever, but he got it done! Okay. AI Dungeon really wants adventure. It loves adventure. That the re There's a reason why fantasy was the most recommended. Despite the fact it did a fantasy prompt and it introduced machine guns. The ship goes into hyperdrive and after several days, you land on the planet that holds the intergalactic bank. Okay. Is that is that who we're filing our taxes with? <laughs> Does Bulma know we ha we have an out of country bank? <laughs> out of pl out of planet bank. Out of an extraterrestrial bank an account. extraterrestrial bank account. It's like you the exit the ship with a huge bag of money in your hand. <laughs> this mental image is great. <laughs> Vegeta laundering funds off on another planet so his rich wife doesn't find out. About it. <laughs> <laughs> to the bank and head straight for the safe. You crack it easily and find a huge stash of diamonds <laughs> inside. <laughs> After filling your bag, you exit the bank. 
Hey, stop! Someone shouts. Jocko is on our tail. <laughs> I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> I just love the fact that we thought he was going to like make a deposit. He ends up stealing a bunch of diamonds. <laughs> this, this program was written by Michael Bay. It's not <laughs> interesting if there's not a bomb or a, or a bank robbery. <laughs> you said. I'm just here to file my taxes. Oh, it's ah, it's the bank robber, someone else says. Get him, shouts a third person. You drop your bag of diamonds and begin to run as fast as you can. The people chasing you are faster, but you manage to lose them in the crowds of the busy city street. You duck into an alley and find a manhole. You climb down it and enter a maze of tunnels. <laughs> you didn't have enough money for your taxes, so now you gotta steal. <laughs> Mamma Mia! So it seems to have forgotten we're on an alien planet, or I guess this is one with cities, like Dragon Ball GT. Yeah, it's alien cities. Oh, it smells like womp rats down here! I and I, I really it's just uh, just too late that that uh, I'd rather be fighting Goku would have been better. Oh well. Great galaxies. <laughs> Great. Say, damn woman, making me file taxes and coming up with the money. I'd rather be training. You go through the tunnels, easily navigating them. You hear a scream and the sound of metal clanging together. Hey, who's there? You say. You walk through the tunnels until you find a room filled with men in black cloaks. In the middle, a young woman is surrounded by them. <laughs> One I'm of just, them holds a knife to her throat. I'm just Stay back! I'm just trying to do my taxes! What is this cult shit? <laughs> Thou knoweth too much! <laughs> well, I'm a genius. I'll easily dispatch them. Oh, come on. You gotta say thou knoweth too much. Not Vegeta, but, but like, they say that. The in... Jackie Chan Adventure Stonehenge episode. That was a great episode. K-N-O-W-I-T-H or E-T-H? K-N-O-W-E-T-H. All on a different planet. Yes. <laughs> It's the alien sewer cult under the bank. <laughs> this is why I like AI Dungeon because I, I like weird shit, and this thing, this this thing knows how to write a weird story. Wow, this episode's weird, even for a GT filler episode. Uh, men in black say, "Thou knoweth too much." They push the woman to the ground and put the knife to her throat. One of them turns and looks at you. Hey, who are you? The men turn around and hold up their knives, ready to fight. Uh, I think that's Vegeta. I'm warning you, just leave. The men laugh and one of them steps forward. All right. uh, okay, we got to establish for this program how powerful Vegeta is. Alright. He attacks but is easily overpowered or something. Oh, I thought you were talking about the reminder text. Oh well, I, we can... Vegeta easily over powers the reminder men is probably good and, too. Uh, yeah, that's right. We weren't heavily using the reminder, so oh god, I should we should have put reminder. You are trying to get your taxes done. <laughs> <laughs> well, go go for it. Do the reminder. Do uh, 
yeah. V Vegeta is in extremely powerful. Is ex or undefeatable. I don't know. Some Lee. word to describe DBZ power. Vegeta is trying to do his taxes. <laughs> Is <laughs> Hello, Darian. Yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> Currently, Vegeta is trying to do his taxes, to do which he felt the need to rob an alien bank and is now fleeing the scene in the sewers where he has found a cult trying to sacrifice a, a girl. There we go. Hold on. I, I, I should make sure that this is a... Uh... Bulma is his wife. Let's say Vegeta's wife, to be clear. Bulma, sorry, your wife. Oh, yeah. It's because you is your wife. Yeah, it's just Vegeta filing his taxes. Nothing else happened. Oh, I should probably... You are... Vegeta. Because you never know. You never know. <laughs> Is your son? There we go. There we go. We're we're every, every AI AI should remember now. Uh, <laughs> Let's enter an entire like character web for a series into AI Dungeons Reminder. Oh, Goku is Goku. <laughs> 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 okay, so we did the remind. Oh, you're gonna. That does not gonna help. It's, Goku it's, is your rival. It's your. That's gonna make him a member of the cult or something if we put that in. Oh, that would be interesting. That's char That's a story. Uh. Okay, so the fight is over in seconds. But that could go either way. You. Hold on, I, I mean, we elaborate more than that. We beat them in seconds. I'm gonna make that story because I don't want them to say "do" and then yeah. and then the, then the egg going "nope." Goku is Goku. <laughs> I'm. I, I, this is like I type in this stuff like I'm fucking making sentences, and, and Baba is you. <laughs> uh, you easily beat them in seconds. The rest of the men don't even try to fight. They just stand around, cowering in fear. Yeah, that makes sense. What's going on? You say, please, sir. We were just following orders. Orders from who? The man looks at the woman and then back at you. From Lord Frieza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reminder, Frieza is alive. Okay. Frieza is... Uh, so Frieza is your old boss? Should we establish anything like that? Frieza is alive. You hate, hate Frieza. Frieza. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> From... So, are we surprised that Vegeta is alive? Did we, uh, Frieza, did we not know this in this continuity? Uh, I don't know. We're, I don't know when this takes place, but this is like some comic you would find that's like, that's like Frieza, Dark Days, and then he's just trying, I'm just, tr I'm just trying to do my taxes. <laughs> so, is this super continuity where Frieza was revived, like, at some point? Or sure. Do we, is this just a big surprise? No one expected Frieza to be alive. Just, Frieza is alive! I got this. Okay, so it's not a surprise that he's alive. We knew this. Frieza, of course. Sir, we were just following orders, the cloaked figure says again. You look at the woman and see that she's still alive. She has a nasty gash on her neck, but it's not deep enough to kill her. You take a deep breath and approach the woman. <laughs> the cloaked figures pull out their knives. I just love the fact that Frieza, the person who's like like really strong, felt the need to like to like hire a cult, a sewer <laughs> cult, to perform a ritualistic sacrifice. <laughs> what the? F 
This is like this is some next level super villain bullshit. Freeze employs regular men with knife. Uh, you kill all but one. I was gonna say you vaporize them, but. Well, we need to find out how Freeze is involved. I guess we could ask the girl. Yeah. Okay, I, I didn't put a period in, because I... Dirty little sewer boy. Yeah. You, you vaporize them and walk over to the woman. You drop down to one knee and put a hand on her shoulder. Don't worry, I'm here now. <laughs> Vegeta's so chill, right? He just sees a woman hurt, and he's like, okay, I'll help. You heal the woman's wound with a burst of energy. Oh, that's some early Dragon Ball shit. People just get random <laughs> powers for no reason. Gash on her Lord, neck. Now, reading your mind. The gash on her neck seals up, and the wound on her shoulder disappears. Are you a, a god? She asks. A super saiyan. Yes. If somebody asks, when someone asks, asks you, you if you're, if you're a god, god, you say yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Frieza. <laughs> you say proudly, yep. The woman looks up at you in awe. She's too scared to move. You look around the tunnel. There's a metal door on the far side of the room. You walk over to it and press your hands against it. You push, but the door doesn't budge. It isn't locked, you realize. It's just really, really, really heavy! It's just really heavy. A really heavy door. Oh, that's where Frieza is, clearly. You vaporize the door. I was gonna ask where Lord Frieza was. Okay, go for it, yeah. Uh, what, or what do you know about Lord Frieza? Where is Frieza? Shit, I gotta, I gotta beat Frieza's ass. He's doing some weird cult shit in this. We sewer. got, we gotta finish this with a, with a fight with Frieza or a confrontation at least. Yeah. Where is Frieza? He's in his palace up there. She says, pointing up at the ceiling of the sewer, <laughs> just above the sewer. You know, <laughs> what's your name? Uh, my name is Farah. Okay, that can Fa pass for a Dragon Ball name. Farah, wait, Farah, the, the, the. The, Fawcett? the main character, the side character, the love interest for Prince of Persia, Sands of Time? That Pharaoh? Pharaoh, <laughs> can you show me where this palace is? I need to get inside. Pharaoh nods and gets up slowly. She looks down at the ashes of the man you just killed and shudders. <laughs> Alright, we let's go up into the palace. We gotta cut we gotta confront Frieza. Because he never sent us our W-4s. <laughs> for being in the Frieza army. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do it. Bus Frieza for intergalactic tax evasion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can go up, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, AI, AI's, uh, trying to figure it out. Oh, what? It's just skipped over the fight scene! What? <laughs> defeat no, we gotta undo that. <laughs> Refresh. Wow, Vegeta, you beat Frieza on your own. Oh, no. wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Mate, I think you... Saying and confront Frieza moves too fast. Probably. Uh, if Can you it... go back and say to confront Frieza? Wait, you know, here we go. We got something. So, you're the god, Frieza asks, raising an eyebrow. I am a god, and you are done. You blast Frieza with a powerful bolt of energy. Reminder, Frieza is extremely powerful. Yeah, he screams out in pain and anger as he begins to transform. Oh, yeah. You've never seen this form before, but then you... Oh, no, okay, never mind. We don't need a reminder, because it, it's... I assumed it had killed him preemptively. Yeah, I'll just put that in there as well. You've never seen this form before, but then you've never seen anything like Frieza before. His power must be extraordinary. <laughs> Where... 
<laughs> Overnight. <laughs> when you agree to have a fight scene and skips past it. Yeah. <laughs> we got the continuity where Vegeta finally wins. No, that was that was retconned out. Where are my W2s? You scream at him, but he doesn't respond. You blast him again and he falls to one knee. His armor is destroyed, and now you can see countless scales underneath it. Give me back my men! Oh, the cultists are chanting. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get the, the AI to start, like, an epic fight scene. Give me a second, I'm gonna uh, trick it. You... Why, so you can forget to give, to issue their tax forms? <laughs> Nowadays, you can only get men with knives. <laughs> Remember he got it's, the it's freeze the of Quasar bad guys. He he ran out of competent people, so he just yeah. had to hire mercenaries. Yeah. Uh, you and Frieza begin to have an epic fight, releasing powerful blasts of energy, destroying much of Frieza's palace. The fight ends with you grabbing Frieza's arms and immobilizing him. He screams out again in pain. You're finished, Frieza. You say. You watch as his arms shrivel up and wither into nothing but bone. <laughs> Another of Vegeta's <laughs> mysterious He screams again as his body becomes mutated by the damage you've caused. Mutated? Huh? <laughs> wow, I didn't know I could do that. It turns out Frieza was actually a clone. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. Well, how are we gonna get our, our tax forms, though? Well, we could, we could just raid his uh, his palace and grab him. So he has a palace manned by a clone? Yeah. I mean, last time, I imagine Frieza would be so terrified of Goku coming in and, like, busting his shit up that he would start cloning himself. I just love the idea that his, his arms start shriveling up into bone and he freezes and Vegeta's like, Wow, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I... I ax... So, do you need to redo it or is this... No, it's good, it's with? good. Turns out this Frieza is actually a clone. You wonder wh who the original Frieza is. If this one was a copy, uh, give me back my men! He screams again, more weakly this time. You watch as Frieza's face contorts into a skull. You drop his now skeletal body, which falls to the ground and shatters. That was satisfying. No, that's just that's what he. <laughs> go, in, go and grab you your then W. Find your W twos. You then and return home to finish your taxes. And I can't wait to run into copy cell. Shell. His parody version from Kintama, Breeza. Yeah. Uh -oh. Now I'm doing it. Don't worry. The end. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Well, that works there, I guess. <laughs> this is this is the greatest like Dragon Ball Z fanfic. It's just Vegeta trying to try, trying to like do taxes, and he can't. Because his, because Frieza has his fucking W twos, <laughs> so he has to fight Frieza. But it turns out it was a clone. Because what what an awkward situation that would be in Dragon Ball Super. Right if off, it, Frieza's alive. <laughs> hey, uh, can I get my tax forms? Your previous employer. <laughs> turns out Fre uh, Frieza didn't file his taxes either. Who knew? Can we still enter more? After the end? Yes. Uh, let's try that. You ride off into the sunset in your pink Ford. We're on an alien planet, though. No, we went home and we finished our taxes. Oh. Tax 
capitalized Ford. Yeah. Your pink Ford. With, I'm going to make it better. With your family. But uh, Otacon, have you heard about the new Ford Fusion? The AI doesn't know what to say, but that's fine. How's the AI doing? Eh? So, okay. It's pretty good. Alright. Can we try again? Oh, yeah, I'll do this again. Let's see what the AI has to say. This this will be our last thing. You've slain the evil Lord Frieza, saved the world, and even got a nice tax refund. That was the best ending. <laughs> Thanks for playing! <laughs> Good night, everybody! Good night, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> oh man I, I like you didn't put the end screen up or anything there we go <laughs> I, I love this model this model introduced Frieza without us having to do it yeah. I mean, the, the old model would never have done that I don't know what was up with Bulma deciding to fucking to fucking like put a bomb in his pink Ford. Also, Vegeta having a pink Ford just seems like so in character. It does, yes. It just, so the stories first: uh, alien, se uh, like a zombie sex virus. Uh, we never finished that. It was not to be. continued. It was to be continued. We'll continue it next time, maybe. Uh, the second one, Land Hikari joining DeadSec when he realized that he that, that a ghost of Julia was haunting him. We had Death Clock's world of cake, and we had Vegeta's tax. <laughs> Fortunately, the truck how was made of cake. Unfortunately, you weren't. <laughs> and right, that's it for us. We're what done, was your right? favorite one? You think? Uh, I, I don't know. Probably either the cake or the Vegeta. Those both went really well. Those went really. I liked I liked Land's one because that was just really unnerving with just wait, but who's Julia? Oh, and there was Mario in there too. It was yeah, a weird Mario. The one. Mario one I think was my least favorite because I mean to be fair, we gave it a really incomprehensible prompt and was just kind of kind of yeah. winging it. It was it was mostly our fault. <laughs> All right, well. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you uh, next time. I'm going to do Ari of Sorrow again once I fix it. So we'll see how that goes. See you later. See you later.